Hi mom, hi dad. Um, I just wanted to drop in and say hi, say hello. Having a bit of a panic attack right now. Um, I've got a paper due tomorrow, and uh, I, I don't worry, everything's fine. I'm not, I'm not freaking out. Well, I am, but but not really freaking out. I'm gonna go for a jog after this, uh, just just to clear my head. I'm just cooped up in here for too long. Um, haven't had a chance to go out and and just get some. Get some fresh air, you know. I just need a jog, and I guess that's one of the things that's been great about this COVID whole COVID nineteen thing. There's no uh, not much traffic, so a lot less air pollution and more fresh air to breathe in. So I'm gonna wear my um, face shield and just go for a jog later on. Uh, you know, you always said if um, if I need to talk to anyone, I could just send you guys a message. So I'm I'm sending you this message because. I just, I miss you all so much, and um, I, I really feel very homesick. I mean, I used to feel homesick before COVID-19 and the whole pandemic and all the circuit breaker measures, but now I even feel more homesick because I miss you guys, and I, I worry about you guys, and I miss the whole family, you know. Um, I don't understand why people panic by and why they freak out whenever there's an announcement made about, about the level of... Um, alertness going up for COVID-19. I guess it's because it's the human instinct kicking in. People want to survive. They don't want to die alone without anyone to care for them. They don't want to die alone without anyone knowing that they're dying or that they're cooped up in their home. So they panic. They panic by they buy toilet paper, they buy food, much more than they need. Uh, I, I can't live like that. I, I don't want to live like that. I refuse to live like that. It's given me a fresh lease on life, I think. You know, COVID-19 is, is basically made me feel like life is short and we need to just do whatever we can to enjoy life and to make the best of it and not to panic and not to freak out and not to go berserk and get violent and get angry and start to beat each other up like what's going on in other countries. You know, it's, it's crazy. I thought I would have a very, I thought it would really scare the heck out of me, but I don't think I'm scared of giving, of, of getting COVID-19. If I die, I die. I I mean, not that I want to get COVID-19, but if, if I get it and, and, you know, worst case scenario, if I die, then so be it. But it has made me realize that life is short and I need to just do whatever I can to make use of every single moment that I have while I'm alive and be happy and grateful to be alive. That's what this whole thing has taught me. He always taught me to look on the bright side of things, so this is it. <laughs> Speaking of bright side of things, I'm really pissed off at my neighbors um, that I have. On the right, I've got a couple who's married with no kids who love to have get-togethers every weekend, even though we're not supposed to because of the circuit breaker measures, but they get people over, and they just have two or three guests, but they sound like this, like, like it's a group of 20 people outside from the way they talk. <laughs> they laugh, they, 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 they're talking, but it sounds like they're screaming and that, like they're fighting, and it, it scares the heck out of me because I wake up to get water at 3 o'clock in the morning and I smell cigarette smoke in my kitchen. And I think something's burning, but I realize, oh, it's not my kitchen that's burning down, it's just cigarette smoke from outside, the common corridor. So they talk and they, they laugh. And, I mean, I have no issues with people having a good time, but come on, they don't, li they don't own the whole block. Don't they have any idea that other people need to get some sleep, need to rest. There are old people around, there are young people around, there are babies, there are children who will need to sleep in, in other households, but they don't care. Maybe I should ask them nicely. They seem like a nice couple. And then on the left side, the other neighbor has mahjong sessions every evening. I mean, they just play mahjong, they have people over, they smoke along the common corridor again. They have a baby Milton that is filled with 20 cigarette buds and ash. And you know what? I, 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 I have to tell them to just think about other people. Anyway, I've, I've got to go. I feel better now and I'm going to go out for a run. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, love you guys. Bye.